Hey everyone, it's Bradley. Welcome back to the channel, Portland Gentlemen. It's been a minute, but I am back with a super exciting video today. I've got the brand new Brew Tools F100 unit tank right behind me. First one in the US, that's for sure. Today we're gonna go over what's in the box. If you'd like to learn even more about home brewing and home brewing equipment, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and brew along with me. Let's jump right into the video. Research it, mash it, boil it, ferment it, drink it, analyze it, share it. Home brewing is good. All right, so starting off, we're gonna go over what's in the box and a couple things that aren't in the box that you're gonna wanna pick up if you plan on getting one of these for yourself, in my opinion. The first thing, you've got this 34 millimeter pressure relief valve. You guys absolutely have to use this if you plan on fermenting under pressure. It's very nice that it is included. And there is this 34 millimeter pressure gauge. Uh, it's got a super uh, sensitive diaphragm on it. I bet this is gonna be accurate. Next up, we've got the blow off cane or blow off tube. It's 34 millimeter tri-clamp compatible, as well as the blow off tube holder. It's actually a tri-clamp and a, a gasket that holds it in there. Really smart idea. I'm surprised no one else has done it. And it is, it's just beautiful. Next up, you've got an assortment of Brew Tools butterflies valves. These are stepped butterfly valves. They are fully stainless steel. There are no steel components to rust. You have two two inch valves and one 34 millimeter butterfly valve for the blow off cane. That's a nice touch. No threads to be found anywhere where anything is gonna touch your beer. Next up, there's this giant eight inch tri-clamp cap. This guy also has a four inch hole in it and a four inch cap that goes with it. If you have an F80 or an F40, it'll be three inch, but otherwise identical. I mean, this, this must be like a, a Norwegian, you know, bracelet guys. It's, it's all, all the rage in Norway. They're, they're rocking these evidently. So I'm told by my friends. Next up, you've got three 34 millimeter tri-clamp caps. These are blind caps, just a solid blank. Two inch and a half caps, as well as one two inch cap. What are you most curious about when it comes to the Brew Tools F series of Unitanks? Comment below, I'm really curious to know. Next up, tri-clamps. There's one massive eight inch tri-clamp, a four inch tri-clamp, 10 34 millimeter tri-clamps, five two inch tri-clamps, and two inch and a half tri-clamps. There's a nice two inch 90 degree elbow with two inch tri-clamp flanges, as well as a Rather uh, impressive uh, two inch tri-clap racking port with a little handle on it. There's 15 34 millimeter tri-clamp gaskets. There's 10 two inch tri-clamp gaskets included and five inch and a half tri-clamp gaskets included as well as two four inch tri-clamp gaskets or if you have an F40 or an F80, you'll have two three inch and two eight inch tri-clamp gaskets not shown in the video and not shown here because I've temporarily lost them. There's also a single 34 millimeter sampling port for taking gravity measurements. There's also this Brew Tools multi-tool. This guy has a wrench on it that will fit a standard corning keg, a bottle opener, as well as two wrenches that will loosen or tighten the bolts on your butterfly valve. The second tool, it took me a minute to figure out what this guy was. It's actually a T-handled tightening tool to tighten up uh, your tri-clamps. Believe it or not, these big eight inch tri-clamps are actually a little bit hard to get tight. I have experienced using them on one other large unit tank and this is a really nice touch. It can be done, but save your fingers. Just a quick reminder guys, I am running a giveaway to celebrate 3000 subscribers here on YouTube. I only have about 256 entries, which is fine, but honestly, your odds of winning are good. So check out that video linked above. It's running until April 8th. I'm gonna draw the, the winner, the winning comment. The 9th, I will announce it. That's on a Friday. So like I said, only 250 or 60 entries. The odds of getting a Brew Tools dry hopper in three inch are really good. I'm happy to buy it and ship it straight to your door. Another item that isn't shown here separately is the feet that the Unitank sits on. They are a stainless steel foot with a rubber bottom. Most Unitank feet are plastic. These guys are just special. It's a nice high-end touch that I personally appreciate. Hopefully they'll have wheels available in the very near future. Another item not shown, but you can see here on the fermenter itself are the bolts that go under the legs. This fermenter actually has telescoping legs, so you don't have to buy extensions 
aftermarket. Now, if you're happy with the height, then you don't get to take advantage of it, but it is there and take advantage. It also comes with as standard, a very thick neoprene jacket. This jacket installs over the top because the bottom plate does not come off. You could slide the legs out, but that would be ridiculous. So it's, <laughs> so it installs over the top. No need to take off feet or anything. Super simple with a few zippers. The jacket I have is a production sample, meaning it does not fit perfectly. It's literally just a sample to see what it's gonna look like. Brew Tools was kind enough to send it with my early production unit tank. I'm super grateful. I think it's gonna work great. I can't wait to get my hands on the final version that's gonna fit nice and tight because that's better. Condensation can be aggravating for some of us. Last but not least is this beast behind me that's in the box. It is the Brew Tools F-Series unit tank. The one I have here is a early production F100. It is a 26 gallon capacity tank with all the ports you could ever want. All right, now there are two items that are not included that I asked Brew Tools about, they told me because they aren't sure what size you're gonna want. And that's a some sort of a hose barb if you're planning on hooking up your blow off cane to a, a blow off, you're gonna need a hose barb and a tri-clamp. This is a Brew Tools 34 millimeter by 10 millimeter hose barb. It fits nice on half inch tubing, so that works for me. You'll also need to get for this guy another additional 34 millimeter tri-clamp, so keep that in mind when you check out. They also sell like 150 millimeter, 34 millimeter tri-clamp pipes, and you can just run that down and extend your blow off right into your container of star sand. That's probably what actually what I'll do because sanitizing hoses, it's just, I don't know, it's lame. Easier to sanitize stainless steel. The next one, because they offer many sizes, I'm told they're not including as standard, is a thermal well. This guy is an inch and a half thermal well that I got from them. It's lovely as far as thermal wells goes. I kind of wish that both these were included, but the fermenter is pretty comprehensive except for these two items. The next thing to consider as far as when you first get your unit tank is how are you gonna rack off you know, yeast and trube and hops out of the bottom two inch valve. Cracking open a two inch valve is no joke. I assure you, any two inch adapter is gonna work. Brutal sells some that go from two inch to their 30 millimeter hose barb. They have some go from two inch to 16, which is the more standard Brutal's hose barb if you're in the ecosystem. I plan on using likely this 30 millimeter silicone tubing and just flexing this from the unit tank into my container. I think it's gonna work great. Another option may also be to get a second 90 or another piece to extend out the output of that valve into your catchment vessel. All stuff to think about, especially if you're new to the unit tank world. Stay tuned to this channel for lots of content that I'm working on right now. If you guys follow me on social media, you may realize that I have completely insulated the ceiling of my garage, drywalled it, got everything good, uh, added air conditioning in here, so I'm good to make videos and brew year round in Southern California where it gets very warm in my garage. All right guys, once again, I am so stoked to have the opportunity to test and give my feedback to Brew Tools and share that with you guys here on YouTube, this brand new F100 unit tank. Really eager to get brewing, lots of content on the way. So remember, this has been Bradley, home brewing is good, and I'll see you real, real soon. <sighs> Did I miss anything? Vowels, T's. Nope, nope, nope. That's it.